Unless you're behind the wheel of a full electric or hydrogen car, chances are your vehicle runs on either gasoline or diesel. These engines generate power through internal combustion, which produces exhaust emissions, including small amounts of smoke. The smoke can appear in different colors, usually black, blue, gray, and white. Now let's break that phrase down. Internal combustion sounds technical, but all it really means is this. Inside your engine, tiny controlled explosions happen over and over again. And I'm not exaggerating, we're talking thousands of times per minute. Those explosions are what push the pistons, spin the crankshaft, and ultimately get your wheels turning. It's like having a mini fireworks show happening right under your hood every second you drive. Here's the catch though. Whenever you have fire, you also have byproducts. In your car's case, that's exhaust gas. Normally, exhaust is almost invisible. It blends into the air and you don't even think twice about it. But sometimes, you glance in your rear view mirror or someone honks and points, and suddenly you notice a puff or even a cloud of smoke trailing behind your car. And admit it, your heart drops a little when you see that, right? Because we're conditioned to think, smoke equals trouble. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all smoke is bad. Sometimes it's completely normal. Other times it's your car waving a giant red flag, basically shouting, hey, something's wrong, fix me. So how do you know the difference? The secret is in the color. Exhaust smoke generally shows up as one of four shades, white, blue, black, or gray. Each color tells its own story, sometimes harmless, sometimes costly. And that's exactly what we're going to break down today. So buckle up, because by the end of this video, you'll know whether your car is just clearing its throat in the morning or crying for a trip to the repair shop. White smoke. Let's start with white smoke, because it's the one most drivers notice first, especially on a chilly morning. Picture this. You walk outside on a frosty winter day, hop into your car, turn the key, and immediately a little white cloud drifts out of your exhaust. Looks suspicious, right? You might even panic, thinking something's already broken. But relax, nine times out of ten, that little puff is nothing more than condensation. Here's what happens. Overnight, moisture naturally collects inside the metal pipes of your exhaust system. When you start the car, that water gets heated up, turns into steam, and exits as a white mist. It's exactly the same thing as seeing your breath when you exhale on a cold day. The colder or wetter the weather, the bigger that cloud looks. If you drive a hybrid, this can be even more dramatic. Since hybrids often run on electric power at first, the gas engine might not kick in right away. Then, when it finally does start, bam, a big white puff. Totally normal, totally harmless. But here's where things get serious. If the white smoke doesn't go away after the car warms up, or if it's thick and keeps coming, that's a big warning sign. Persistent white smoke often means coolant is leaking into the combustion chamber. Now we're talking real problems. A blown head gasket, a cracked cylinder head, or in worst cases, a damaged engine block. And how can you tell for sure? Trust your nose. If you catch a sweet, syrupy smell in that smoke, that's the coolant burning. Ignore it and you could end up with overheating, rough idling, constant misfires, or even total engine failure. And trust me, replacing a head gasket is expensive, but replacing an entire engine block? That's a financial gut punch you don't want. So, to recap, light white smoke in the morning and harmless condensation. Heavy lingering white smoke, I coolant leak. Blue smoke. Now let's talk about blue smoke the one that instantly makes mechanics raise an eyebrow. Blue smoke almost always means one thing. Your engine is burning oil. And oil is supposed to stay in the lubrication system, not sneak into the cylinders. When it does mix with fuel and burn, you get that distinctive bluish haze out the tailpipe. Now, I'll give you this. Sometimes, it's not a huge deal. For example, if your oil was overfilled during the last change, that excess might burn off temporarily. You'll see a little blue smoke and then it disappears. No harm done. But if the smoke keeps showing up, 
That's your car telling you something's worn out. Common culprits are worn piston rings, damaged valve seals, or scratched cylinder walls. Basically, the barriers that normally keep oil and fuel separate aren't sealing anymore. Once oil slips past and starts burning, you're looking at more smoke, higher oil consumption, and eventually serious engine wear. Got a turbocharged car? Blue smoke can also mean your turbo is failing. Turbos use engine oil for lubrication, and if the seals inside break down, that oil leaks into the intake. Next thing you know, your car's laying down a smoke screen like it's in an action movie chase scene. And here's the kicker. Blue smoke doesn't just look bad. It usually comes with extra symptoms. Maybe your engine feels rough at idle. Maybe you've noticed a loss of power. Or maybe you keep having to top off oil every week. All of those are classic signs your engine's eating its own oil. Ignore it and you're playing with fire, literally. Low oil can cook an engine faster than almost anything else. Black smoke. Next up, black smoke. The big, dramatic, can't miss it kind. You've seen this before. Some old car or diesel truck floors it and suddenly it's like a coal factory out the back. Huge black clouds rolling down the road. Looks bad, smells bad, and yep, it's bad for your wallet too. Black smoke almost always means your engine is burning too much fuel. In gas engines, that's what mechanics call running rich. Basically, there's way more fuel going in than the amount of air available to burn it properly. So what causes it? A few things. Clogged air filter blocking airflow. Leaky or stuck fuel injectors dumping in too much gas. Faulty sensors like the MAF or oxygen sensor feeding the wrong info to the engine computer. On diesels, the story's a bit different. A lot of the black smoke comes from soot, tiny particles from incomplete combustion. Modern diesels are equipped with DPFs, diesel particulate filters, that trap and burn that soot. But if the DPF gets clogged, fails, or is regenerating, you'll see clouds of smoke roll out. Here's why you don't want to ignore it. Black smoke isn't just embarrassing. It also murders your fuel economy, kills your catalytic converter, and puts strain on the whole exhaust system. Long term, that's repair bills stacking up fast. So yeah, if you see your car turning into a smoke machine, it's time for a tune-up. Grey smoke. And finally, let's talk about grey smoke, the wild card. Grey smoke is tricky because it doesn't have one obvious cause. It could mean several different things, which makes it harder to diagnose than the other colours. One common culprit is a bad PCV valve. That's the positive crankcase ventilation system. Its job is to recycle gases from the crankcase back into the intake to be burned off. If the valve fails, oil can slip through and create grey or bluish grey smoke. The good news? PCV valves are usually cheap and easy to replace. But that's not the only possibility. In diesel cars, grey smoke can signal low oil pressure or just plain low oil levels. That's a big problem because without enough oil, the engine runs hotter, wears faster and risks major internal damage. Sometimes grey smoke overlaps with blue smoke issues, like burning oil or turbocharger problems. That's why mechanics often call grey smoke the most annoying one. It can mean a small issue, or it can mean something major. If you see it, don't roll the dice, get it checked. So, let's put all this together. White smoke, harmless condensation, unless it lingers, then it's coolant. Blue smoke, oil's burning, worn seals, piston rings or turbo issues. Black smoke, too much fuel, not enough air, clogged filters, bad injectors or failing sensors. Grey smoke, wild card, could be PCV, low oil or turbo related. At the end of the day, visible smoke is like your car talking to you. Sometimes it's whispering, don't worry, it's just steam. Other times it's screaming, Fix me before it's too late. So let me ask you this. Have you ever seen smoke pouring out of your exhaust? What colour was it? And what ended up being the cause? Drop your story down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And hey, if this breakdown helped you out, hit that like button, share this video with a friend who drives an older car, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next deep dive into car tips, troubleshooting, and gearhead guides just like this one.